Warriors all played at least 36 minutes yesterday in a win over Clemson. Crutchfield short on the shot. Another second chance for NC State. And Kudain assisted by Reina Perez, the grad transfer. Last year's tournament MVP for NC State was Ace Koenig, and Perez has stepped right into that void for the Wolfpack this year. Big 21-point game yesterday, and then Lana May Lottinen, who can really fill it up. Kayla Jones, senior from Jamesville, North Carolina, all ACC first-teamer this year. It's because she's not just a stretch four. A stretch four can pick and pop, shoot the three. She can make decisions with a ball in her hands besides being able to pick and pop. South Carolina and Michigan for Georgia Tech with the international flair, and they force the turnover. Two on one break. And taking it all the way for the finish is Kiara Fletcher. This is a game where Nell Fortner wants to make sure her big players, Hermoso and Kubai, have a chance to pound away on the interior against Kunane. Jones, short on the open look. Hermosa with the leak and the lay-in. For Nell Fortner's side, the best in school history. They tied their ACC record with 12 conference wins this year. Trying to get Kunane down on the block. Here she is, and one. Drops it off and puts some zip on it. So Kunane already has Hermosa at it. So this middle pick and roll right here is what NC State had trouble with in the first matchup. It's part of the reason why Lotta Mae Lottinen had 30. One of the best players in the country. Yep. And she's an incredible ambassador for women's basketball. That's why I call her Big Smile. Stag Big Smile written on him. She told me she's having a lot of fun with her teammates. Brown Turner gets to the baseline for the lane. She is a very strong left-hand dominant player. Made four threes in the first half last night. Reina Perez raining down the three. Alongside being our colleague at ESPN <laughs> for multiple years. Spent some time on the dark side with us. Yes, she did. <laughs> Lottenham. Strong move to the right yeah. side. Lot of May Lotten. That may be, Debbie, in all likelihood will be a look at three of the four one seeds for the NCAA tournament and an and one opportunity here for Georgia Tech. UConn and Stanford and Texas A&M. And then that fourth spot, perhaps South Carolina's to just one minute off of the Georgia Tech bench in that first quarter. Only a couple minutes off the NC State bench. Jada Boyd is like a sixth starter for NC State. And boy, she's explosive. Oh, great backdoor cut. Terrific setup by Nell Fortner and her staff. Shakia Brown-Turner face guarding. Bobby had the position, now has to step back. Will try and muscle her way into the lane. Does so and gets to the right hand for two. I mean, does a great job getting to the midline with that half hook over her left shoulder. Former Purdue standout. Off the turnover. Lawton and through traffic, weaves her way into the left side. I mean, low by with another lay-in. She's going to get her chance on Kunane, and I think Nell Forder didn't want to start Kubai on Kunane for foul trouble reasons. Good read on the drive of Jones, and then the dive to the bucket by Boyd. Snuck in the back door for two. Lawton and kicks to Fletcher. Good for three. Now, Kayla Jones knows you can't help on the strong side on a lane line drive, not at the score. Kunane tries the left and wow. got it. Oh, oh. Kubai trying to go to work on Kunane, yes. rattles it home, putting a little Italian on it. Then you get numbers going the other way, plus you're just taking her confidence away. Yep. Kubai, deep. Georgia Tech with the lead over NC State. Okay, they can play, let them play. Strong to the right side, and the lay-in is good for Boyd. Jones, putback is good. Now there's a tough play, Kayla Jones on the weak side.
Penane with nine to lead NC State. Lotman's 10. Pops for Tech. And one. That shortens the game when you don't have a lot of depth. Three players played all 20 minutes for Tech, and a fourth starter played 19. Georgia Tech will try and build on its largest lead of the afternoon. Lawton got it. I mean, that's just simple miscommunication and not guarding the ball. State's worried about the screen and not keeping Lawton in front. Pick and roll, Perez to Cunane. A little fire under this team at halftime. You would think. But how about Georgia Tech opening up the half three for three? There's no explosion about their offense. It's just a very settled jump shooting look, jump shot looking team right now. And Kayla Jones is willing to take a couple of big shots here. Women's basketball today in the Summit League. Now a lot of people might not think that's a big deal, but South Dakota State lost as the one seed to the eight seed Omaha. Our Hall of Fame stadium reporter Holly Rowe says they do indeed have the replacement teams lined up on the women's side as well. And the three ball right there for Kiara Fletcher. Jones. Oh, the lane opened up for her and she'll take it. See, that's a good choice by Kayla Jones. And that's part of the reason why the hybrid is part of her definition. Down four, three minutes to go in the quarter. And will Kubai now go to work against Camille Hobby? He does and scores. Fletcher, mid range. Got it. 21 yesterday and now 10 today for Fletcher. Go along with seven rebounds. Every first possession of each quarter for Kayla Jones. Kubai and Kunane head to head. Kubai spins to the left and lays it in. Morella tries the baseline. The double comes. Maker a passer. Loyal McQueen's going to get a look and the rookie delivers. Georgia Tech is in a flow. Crutchfield and one. That's what you want your seniors to do. And who can make the best shots under duress or the most shots? The Jakea Brown Turner like that. Kai Crutchfield and Jakea Brown Turner have just done a great job making back to back plays. Layup is up and in. Jones. Georgia Tech really physical on that duck in. Three ball is good, Brown Turner. Lawton and off the hesitation and another layup for Lodemai. It's been terrific. Crutchfield, got it. Three big plays for Kai Crutchfield in the fourth quarter. Top of your screen, number 31 in blue has been shut down in the second half. Kubai got around today. So tough. Jones was helping on the Kubai matchup. Crutchfield off the bounce. Hangs and hits. Kunane with a touch. Working on Kubai. Got it to go. And the Wolfpacker on top. That'd be a jump ball with one second on the shot clock. Now they'll get the next possession. Right. Kunane to the right side. And it's good. Looking for some space, gets into the lane. Patient, off glass, no. Rebound, Kunane, and a snarl from the big smile. Jones, no doubt about the drive, but couldn't finish. The other thing, NC State's defense has definitely come alive. There she is. Dubai, nice roll, but missed the layup. She flicked it up there instead of shooting it, and then commits the foul. Four in double figures for the pack. Big smile, doesn't miss many free throws. And the quick timeout. And a foul going to be called on NC State. Lawton. 
Kubai found some space. They'll let her go and she'll lay it up and in. Now Westmore has timeouts, but he doesn't always call it to advance the ball. This one can make it a three possession, can put the game on ice. That was a travel. McQueen for three. No. Rebound, Crutchfield. And that'll do it. It's the one seed and the two seed for the ACC championship tomorrow. Louisville and North Carolina State.